What's so special about this box? Well, it's from Plaid Products and they saw my YouTube channel and decided, hey, let's send you some, some new free products that you can try out and test out on your show. So let's take a look at what's in the box. <laughs> it sparkles. Hi guys, it's me, Indiana Jones, and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, well, let me know. I'd love to meet new creative, crafty friends. This is a special collaboration with Plaid Ambassadors. That's right, I, myself, am a proud Plaid Ambassador. No, you won't get a sash like mine. This was special order. No, actually, a good friend of mine, Crystal, the Purple Pixie, made this for me because I'm always talking about Plaid. That's how much I love Plaid products. So let's take a look at what I made today with some Plaid products and what I've made in the past. Let's check it out. I forgot to video a little bit of the actual plaid product that I'm using here and it's apple barrel paints. I'm just diluting it in water so that I can combine it with my beautiful Sola wood flowers. Sola wood flowers. Yes, Sola wood flowers. Bing bong. But the real star is of course plaid. I want to craft forever. Irene Cara, don't come after me. I just I have to use that. I'm sorry. So here I am just dyeing my solo wood flowers to use them in my next craft. It's so much fun to dye these solo wood flowers. I am so happy they sent me a nice big box, but I'm going to need more soon. Next, I am using this piece of paper, that one piece of paper as my theme. That is my theme, my color scheme. I found this at Goodwill. It was for $2, but it was on sale for a dollar. A dollar, people, look how beautiful it is. And I decided I wanted to paint this, but I don't want to paint it on the outside because I just like the design on the outside and I didn't want to mess it up. So what am I doing? I am using Mod Podge and mixing it together with folk art paints. I love that color. That is one of my favorite colors. I will tell you right now, that color is I'm looking at it. Cottage white. How perfect. Cottage white. So I mixed the cottage white with this aqua blue and some green. And I came up with this beautiful color that matches that piece of paper perfectly. I just wanted to keep it in that theme. And why did I mix it with um, Mod Podge, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you because I'm going to paint the inside of my glass and I didn't want the paint to just slide off. Yes, I wanted it to be glossy and shiny and pretty and that's why I'm using that gloss Mod Podge. And I will now dump all of that beautiful paint into that beautiful bottle and you'll see the results. Once I am sure that I've completely covered the inside of this vase, I'm gonna make sure that I turn it over and release all of the extra paint that's in there. And then I'm gonna stand it up on some clothespins so it doesn't create a puddle at the opening of the vase or the vase, whatever you wanna call it. And we'll see the results later. But you know what I did? I took the extra paint that was left over in that cup and added a little more water. And again, this is Mod Podge and the Plaid Products paints. I guess the apple barrel of full cart paints. And what I'm doing is I'm literally dyeing these burlap fabric strips. That's right, burlap, burlapfabric.com for all your burlap needs. So I decided, you know what? I don't know what I'm gonna use these for, but I got these strips. Let me dye them so they're all the same color of my color scheme. And uh, we'll see what I do with this later in the show. Later in the show, yeah. It's a show here, people. I'm your entertainment for tonight. This is a special collaboration of the creative plaid community. All these lovely ladies are plaid ambassadors just like me. And we want to show our enthusiasm for plaid products and also inspire you to use plaid products in your next project. Not only that, this is a special giveaway. That's right. Visit each one of these plaid ambassadors. Make sure you listen to the specific plaid product that they're using as a code word and comment in our comments for each of our videos and you'll be entered to win. My code word plaid product is Sparkle Mod Podge. Sparkle Mod Podge. 
Now this is a super simple and quick, easy DIY. I'm just taking one of those nut cans, nut cans, yeah, nut can, and these wonderful, beautiful papers. I found this one with that green background and copper. I thought that would be perfect. So what I'm going to do is just Mod Podge this little can and make it something useful instead of just throwing it out in the trash. And there I go. There goes the Mod Podge. I think Mod Podge is one of my favorite products. Now I didn't use a lot of different plaid products here, but these are my go-tos, the paints and Mod Podge. Those are my favorites. But I do have projects that entail other specific and special plaid products. Now, once my little can was dry, as you can see, I decided to make a candle out of it. So I'm using some of those, uh, what are they called, wax, wax melts that you get from the Dollar Tree and created a little candle in this beautiful little container. So this next project is using one of these um, bubble messages that you hang on your wall. I don't like that one, sarcasm welcomed. I don't welcome sarcasm. I don't know, am I sarcastic? Tell me, am I sarcastic or am I witty? Sometimes you can't tell the difference. Anyway, so I'm taking this sign apart and cutting it apart and just, I'm just ripping this thing apart. Just do it, just taking it apart. I guess now would be a good time to talk about what my special product is. And my special product that I want to tell you about is Mod Podge, but not just any Mod Podge. My favorite Mod Podge is Sparkle Mod Podge. I should use it more often, but I really love Sparkle Mod Podge. It's such an easy way to add a little bit of sparkle without the mess of glitter. Sparkle Mod Podge, remember that. So here I am Mod Podging that little sign with this beautiful paper. I can't believe I found that pad of paper on sale at Hobby Lobby for $3.29. And it's got a bunch of paper. I think it was usually like $12.99 or $19.99. I don't know, it was, it was expensive. And I said, three bucks, heck yeah. So here I am Mod Podging, decoupaging. Now I'm using these air dry clay pieces. Now I didn't go through the whole process of showing you how I made them cause I forgot. Anyway, so I just used some IOD clay molds and I used the Crayola air dry clay and I let them dry overnight and look how beautiful it came out. They, it's just, oh, I love it. So pretty. Oh, I love it. It's like a work of art. And again, with that paper and that white, it just, oh, so pretty. So now I'm just going to add some of those solo wood flowers. You're wondering why did I dye the flowers and not show you what I did with them? Well, here is one of the projects that I use those beautiful pink solo wood flowers. They're so pretty. They really are. So if you're interested, check my links below so you can get your own solo wood flowers. So I guess I should share the colors I'm using. So I'm using bright green from Apple Barrel and Bahama Blue from Apple Barrel and of course Cottage White from Folk Art. They are beautiful and when you mix them together it came out to this beautiful blue greenish kind of color. So this little set of, I don't know, drawers, I don't know what you want to call it. I got tired of it. It was just sitting around. I had the farmhouse look. I don't like the farmhouse look so let's add some color. So here I am just adding some plaid paints and now I'm going to apply, that's right, you guessed it, my favorite, and yours too, Mod Podge. That's right, it's Mod Podge. Now, Mod Podge comes in a variety of different types of Mod Podge. Some are more modgy and some are more podgy. No, that's not true. Anyway, there's the Gloss Mod Podge and Matte Mod Podge and Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge and Fabric Mod Podge and Sparkle Mod Podge and Mega Glitter Mod Podge and Outdoor Mod Podge and Super Gloss Mod Podge. I mean, there's a Mod Podge for everything. Even Chalkboard Mod Podge. I mean, seriously, there's a Mod Podge for everything. So check out all the Mod Podges that are out there. Some of them are more modgy and podgy, but, uh, and it's Mod Podge. Podge. I have this, I don't know, this thing about, it's a, what is it, a quirk? Ah, it drives me nuts. I like Mod Podge. There's no jish in Modge. There's no Modge. It's Mod. I know. It's a quirk. But uh, yeah, that's what it says on the bottle. But I love Mod Podge. I just slap it around everywhere. There you go. And there you have it. There's my updone, updid, updude, new little and this is a perfect place to keep those totally dazzled items that I have now too. Woo! Look at all the crossovers. Yee-hee! I love it. 
my code word plaid product is Sparkle Mod Podge. Sparkle Mod Podge. Oh, so like, hey, remember those strips of uh, burlap that I cut out earlier and, and dyed with the extra paint and Mod Podge from the first project? Here it is again. Look at that. I didn't forget to do the video. Look at that. So this is a little window uh, frame thingy from Target. I think it was three bucks at Target during Christmas time. Didn't use it for Christmas, but it's still hanging around. So I decided to use that like roughed up painted um, it's a, it's a little rough. I'm not going to say it's flexible, but it's a little rough. And especially since it's on burlap, of course, it's, it's a little rough, but it's perfect for those Victorian style type of, um, they had wired ribbon before, but I mean, I don't know. I just like the color and I thought this would be so cute as a little wall hanging. I am just super happy with these. I don't, I love these burlap strips painted. How perfect. Thank you, burlapfabric.com, for all the burlap, for all my burlap needs. Thank you so much. And Sola Wood. So here, you know, again, crossover. Here's Sola Wood flowers that I originally dyed at the beginning of the show, at the beginning of the episode, with uh, the plaid acrylic paints and, and some water. And look how lovely they came out. Just the perfect color of pink. That's the best thing about Sola Wood and using it together with plaid you can create exactly what you need for your projects. Just lovely, just absolutely lovely. I'm so happy with all of this. It just, oh, this was such a happy episode for me. And I, I hope it made you happy too. It wasn't too crazy, but I can tell you it was very creative and a lot of fun. I really love these very feminine and shabby chic looks. I hope you try them as well. I wanted to quickly share some other wonderful plaid projects that I used this year. This is using Dimensional Magic. I really enjoyed using Dimensional Magic. And I'll be doing some more jewelry, I guess, in the coming months. It all depends on what inspires me. I am so inspired now with the Shabby Chic. And this is perfectly Shabby Chic. Next is the Resin Kit. Yes, plaid and Mod Podge now have resin kits. This was a beautiful project that I did for my mermaid themed episode, which came out last week. So I wanted to quickly show you how beautiful you can make your own. I, I don't know. I really love this. It's like a Victorian vintage mermaid shell and the resin just finishes it off perfectly, as you can see with pearls and glitter. Next, I am proud to say that Plaid FX selected me to be a featured maker or creator during the Christmas time and I created my own plaid product or plaid FX gingerbread shoes. I love these shoes and I do wear them out during Christmas time. It was so much fun to make and plaid FX is perfect for it. Here I'm using fabric Mod Podge. There it is. And this was just last week as well where I used vintage Cuban cigar art to make patches for a denim jacket. My code word plaid product is Sparkle Mod Podge. Sparkle Mod Podge. So what did you think of my plaid inspired projects? I was very inspired with the color scheme. Well, obviously. Anyway, thanks again to plaid for making me a plaid ambassador and to all my friends that joined this collaboration. Now, if you're inspired, you can always go to plaid.com or any craft store that carries the plaid family of products. But if you enter today, you would be entered to win $100 worth of plaid products. All you have to do is write the code word for each video from the playlist below in the comments and you'll be entered to win. Of course, in the US continental states only. Stay safe, be kind, God bless each and every one of you and live the adventure. Come back soon, bye.